Welcome to the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is the Yokohama Matsuri at the Yokohama Arena. I'm Russell Goro, and with me is Nicholas Pettis. Yeah, so this is uh, the second fight in the K1 Super Featherweight uh, Championship Tournament. Uh, we <coughs> have in the red corner, and uh, maybe Nick, you can introduce this guy. Oh, well, yeah, this is uh, my student, Leona Pettis. Versus uh, and, uh, Ayub Segiri. I mean, uh, most of you guys uh, are watching this probably already know who, who he is. And yeah, oh yeah. We, <clears> so, we already yeah. know he's not my yeah. son, so. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> this is actually his chance at the belt oh, yes. that uh, Takura Hilt last year that he oh, fought yes. for and lost. Uh, Takura to. Yeah. So I would say his motivation is really, really high. Really, people. And I will also have to uh, openly admit that I was actually there uh, yes. uh, seconding for uh, Sheena. Um, so. This is a recording, but I still want to get excited about this Love fight it. here. Love it. Okay, and we have uh, now uh, Sigiri from uh, Morocco, but uh, based out from Spain, is uh, was discovered by Artur Kishenko. Yeah, Kishenko so, was in his corner, actually. Yeah, and this is, uh, I guess, an opportunity for him on the international stage. Wow. Yeah. Leon with his... Um, I love his pants, like uh, <laughs> gladiator style. I mean, but Leona is really, you know, known for his, his heavy hands, you know, they call him Iron Fist over here. Yeah. Um, and what's really incredible about his style is that his, his jab is so, look at that. Yeah. His jab is so fast and sneaky that it leads up to his right hand. Mm. And if you haven't fought someone like Leona, I think you will find yourself in an awkward situation. So this is going to be an interesting fight for sure. Interesting. You see the classical Dutch kickboxing style yeah. here from Ayub. Completely relaxing style. So confident. Ooh. We'll see. Uh, Leona's uh, biggest mistakes up until now is when he got too excited and got, you know, <laughs> disqualified for hitting people in the wrong places. Okay. <laughs> But I mean, it's just uh, another extension of how his determination to yes. win is. Yeah. That was a great look at mm -hmm. that. Spot on. Yeah. Spot on. The question really is, how is you going to defeat someone like Leon? Right? Yeah. Definitely yeah. put pressure on him, not let him get away with staying in the distance that he feels comfortable with. And then you got to force him to beef it up, you know? Or, uh, you know, slug it out. Oh, big bombs. Oh, that connected. Boom. Ah, almost. Actually, ah, almost looked like a down. Okay. So 45 seconds. Another one. Mm. Again, see how he controls him with the jab? Yeah. I really feel like he's uh, mat mat matured into his own fighting style very well, though. Mm. You see how comfortable he's in. He's in there. Hey, nice low kick. Oh, Three. that's down. Okay. Oh my God. Two. That's not Three. good. <laughs> That's not that good at all. I use the, we we <laughs> don't know what he's, what he's oh, capable of. Wow. Eight. That was super unexpected. Yeah, this is the end of the first round. Oh, man. Oh, so, no good way for Leona to end round one. That was an awesome backhand. I gotta say, though, this is really gonna mess up Leona's plan for coming into the second round. So we're seeing a lot of uh, what Ayub uh, Sigiri can do. Let me see that again. Like that oh, one there. This is right on the chin. He never saw that coming. Boom. And you see? Boom. It's like a feint. You right could have an game. elbow there. I'm not elbow, but like forearm, you know? But that is the uh, the wrist that you do when you do the backhand. Is that Kishenko there? Yes. Yeah. This is Kishenko this corner. I met him in the, in the, in the back locker room. Yeah. We're actually sharing the same locker room with him. But man, that is, uh, is going to be uh, mm. frustrating to walk into because, I mean, it's the first round of a whole tournament that you have to go through. Yeah. And then yeah. to get dropped like that. It's gonna make you more uh, uh, 
what do you say? Is that what I said? Yeah, you can't get nervous about it. Yeah. yeah. Now, you know, he has to bring in a... How is he going to overcome that in round two? That's what's on the agenda. Like I spoke about earlier, he just has to be careful. He doesn't get overexcited, you know, because like, this has been his downfall. It was his downfall two. before. Got, um, Takedo, for example, he got too excited and started slugging it up, and then he got dropped. It's going to cool down. Ah, look at him. He seems already more aggressive in his stance. You see, he's putting more pressure on him. Mm. Oh. He's got some long legs and arms. Eh? Seems way more confident now that he's actually dropped him with that backhand. Yeah. It's way different from the first round. And again, so is Leona. I know that one didn't work, but... Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. Like I told you, Iron Fist is back. Okay. So no, you dug in the face. No, that hurt, man. Yeah. That hurt for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now he comes in. Yeah, yeah. Take your time, take your time, don't run into the yeah. silly. Whoa, no, no, no. There you go. He knows what he can do. Okay. Oh! Okay, okay what happened? Well, uh, the winner. Just want to see some playback on. Okay. Obviously, you got. Alright, so that could be a bit of a. Uh, an accident actually, because uh -huh. it looked like how they fell down to, together and that he hit his head on the ring. Okay. It seems to be, everybody seems to be okay. Meanwhile, uh, with a knockout there, Leon Perez will go into the next rounds in this uh, tournament. Interesting, I'd like to see the slow motion on this one. See, that one is the one that pops in. Yeah, this is understandable. Boom, boom, oh, the last one didn't connect on the back of his head, that's good. So and then one, this one, one, what happens here? He uh, comes over, boom, they oh, fall down. Okay. It looks like he hits his shoulder on the yeah. ring, not his head though. There is a shoulder with... But that, there was a punch there and a punch ah. on the way down. Oh, no matter how many times I see this, I really can't really figure out what's happened there. But, I mean, the outcome of it is that Leona gets on to go up in the semifinal. Mm. I would like to see uh, Ayub back in Japan, actually. Yeah, what yeah. a fighter. Definitely, definitely. And, uh, but uh, meanwhile, Lema will fight in, up in the next uh, tournament. And so uh, let's, let's see what, what happens more later on in the game. Thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan Yokohama Matsuri. When there was Leona Pettis, I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.